All right guys, Coach Abby here. Um, here just to talk to you about a couple of common mistakes that we see when I sit down with our, our nutrition members or people that are coming in to talk about where their nutrition is and where they wanna go. Some of the mistakes that we hear are, are these to be listed here. I just wanna to, want to talk about those today. So one would be eating too much of either, eating too much in general and eating too much of the, the two things that might steer us in the wrong direction, which is one, carbs, and uh, the other is fats. So, you know, sit down with somebody and they say, I really, really nail breakfast. And, okay, great, tell me what, what you eat for breakfast. I have a bowl of oatmeal uh, with some bananas and I, I wash that down with a big giant glass of orange juice. Great. Separately, all of those are really great items, but together, what I hear is carb, carb, carb. Oatmeal is a carb, orange juice is a carb, banana is a carb, right? So instead of too much of the three, three C's, right, three carbs, we would shoot for balance at each meal. And that would be separating the plate, this is a nice little diagram here, of having portion portioned out of veggies, protein, and carb, healthy carb. And that could be something complex, like a sweet potato, rice, those would be the, the uh, examples for carbs there. And then with fat, maybe just a little thumbs worth. And that would be the oil that you cook with, or just adding some nuts there. So instead of eating too much of one thing, or just eating too much in general, think nice balance, balance at each meal. The second common mistake would be skipping meals, skipping meals all together. Maybe if I uh, limit my, the amount that I take in, one to two meals, that's gonna help me towards my weight loss goal. Believe me, I've been there. And what it does really, it, it actually works the other way. We need, we need nutritious balanced meals to get our body, our metabolism really revving throughout the day to burn, uh, burn more calories and burn more fat throughout the day. So it's actually working against us if we're skipping meals because our body is kind of holding on to the fat because it doesn't know when our next meal is coming. So instead of that, we want to strive for those three balanced meals a day. Three balanced meals, and again, good diagram here. Three balanced meals, if you guys are a little bit more active, but male, <coughs> males in particular, maybe we go four meals or three balanced meals and a snack. The last one is happy meal syndrome. This is a, a great term here because we, we don't want the CQE, the cheap, the quick, and the easy. And sometimes what happens is we fall into that when we're too busy and the drive-through or the ordering out, the fast takeout is much more accessible than planning our meals. And you know, for, for those parents out there, right, it's setting an example for your kids. Instead of grabbing something that's quick and convenient, we don't know where it comes from, we don't know what's in it. <clears throat> and to combat that instead would be planning ahead. This has worked wonders for me. It's writing out a grocery list rather than kind of mindlessly walking around the, the grocery store. We just kind of start adding things, especially when we go to the grocery store hungry, right? So we plan ahead, we write out that grocery list. The second would be meal prepping. Maybe picking one to two days a week where I know I have maybe an hour of my time where I can really sit down and plan the, uh, plan maybe like two to three meals to stretch out through the couple of days. Then it's eat to live, not live to eat. And again, this is something that I've actually struggled with as well, is that I think of eating as a task. So maybe we zag a little bit and we say, you know what, I don't even feel like meal prepping today. I'm going to just pick something up on the way home. And again, it's probably not the healthiest, uh, healthiest choice. And then lastly here, an 80-20 rule. 80% of I eat clean, I fill my body with nutritious, well-balanced meals. And then maybe that 20%, whether we start with a week, we start with a month, is when I get to you know, enjoy the things that I love. Going out to ice cream with friends or maybe grabbing um, one of those uh, delicious like frappuccino coffees or even you know, pizza night, right? We're all human, we want to be able to enjoy the things that we enjoy, especially maybe a group setting. So we wanted to do 80% of the balanced and the eating clean, and then 20% of, of maybe we get to zag and again enjoy some of the uh, um, indulgence uh, that we, we want to do, but we don't want it to be opposite. So again, just three common mistakes that we see, and maybe this could help get you guys ahead of that there.